Hi guys, it's Ruby back again with another Vegas video. Today I want to talk about Vegas reopening and what is different, how it feels different, and things that feel the same. I wanted to get this video out to you guys quickly for those of you who have messaged me and said you're going to be going on a trip soon. I want to give you all the information of what you can expect and how things are going to be different for you this trip. If you don't follow me already on Instagram, I will leave a link in the description. You can always DM me there if you have any questions. Otherwise, if you're not a subscriber, could you please subscribe? That would be really great and it would really help my YouTube channel out. If you like this video, please give it a like. Thanks so much in advance and let's get going. Okay, so let's get started talking about how Vegas has changed with the social distancing guidelines. So the biggest change, obviously, is the Friday that we were in Vegas was the first day that they announced mandatory masks. The governor announced mandatory masks for everybody in public spaces in Nevada. What this meant for us, essentially, was that suddenly you were expected to wear a mask in inside all public spaces. The casinos were not trying to enforce it outside and there was no one outside on the strip trying to enforce mask wearing outside. So I wanna make that clear. We didn't notice people trying to enforce it while you were walking in around on the strip. It was strictly inside casinos. Some casinos were more strict than others, but all have said publicly that if you are drinking, eating, or smoking, you are not expected to wear your mask. So if you are normally sitting at a slot machine with a cocktail in your hand, you do not have to have your mask on. Uh, an attendant may come by and ask if you have a mask because they'd like to provide one to you, but as long as you have a mask with you, they are fine. My husband and I were walking around in the morning with coffees, um, down on the casino floor and we had our masks with us and no one said anything to us and we didn't have any problems at all. So as far as the masks go, they are providing them at all locations in the casinos. They're providing them when you walk in, they have them at the desk, they have them everywhere. In fact, they did kind of have them right when you came down from the casino or right onto the casino floor when you came down from the guest elevators and it actually caused a little bit of congestion in that area because they were stopping people before they left the guest elevators to put masks on to go out onto the floor. Um, we didn't notice them as being too horrible or distracting. They're mildly annoying at best. That's that's how I feel about the masks. I think they're mildly annoying, but that was that was really the only thing we felt. It really didn't negatively impact our trip in a huge way. Some people were pretty upset about it. Um, I did see people get kind of rude and loud with the staff. Please don't be those people. Um, this is not the staff's choice. This is not their fault. They're being given a job now to enforce something that was never part of their job description before. So please be kind. Okay, other changes regarding social distancing. They now have six foot markers out on the floor in various places. They have little dots that they expect you to stand in, like when you come in for check-in, they check your temperature, and then you're supposed to stand on these little dots. People were like kind of half-heartedly standing on them, but it, it really wasn't like being super strictly enforced and nobody was really being super um, enforcing on that aspect. Other things I noticed, things that I thought were really nice actually, there were hand-washing stations on the casino floors, and I loved this. There were also hand sanitizing stations, but really positive change there. I hope that they keep the hand washing stations all the time. Other things like they had sanitizing wipes in some of the casinos and not all. I noticed them at the Wynn, I noticed them at the Flamenco and at the Link, but I didn't see them in all of the casinos, but they were sitting by slot machines where you could choose to wipe them down yourself. However, I did notice a lot of staff cleaning really regularly, cleaning the hand washing stations and sanitizing the uh, slot machines there was a lot of cleaning happening even when you went into the check-in desk right as you were coming up they would clean the desk before you came to the desk so a lot of cleaning going on all of it being very good another thing i noticed was 
most menus are pretty much gone. QR codes are the new menu, and I'm really not mad at it. I think it's gonna save paper. Menus have always been notorious for being one of the germiest things you will ever touch. They were never sanitized very well before, and I'm not angry to be using a QR code on my phone. They, they will have a paper one if you don't have your phone. You can always ask them for a paper menu. Okay, other things I noticed that were not related to social distancing, like we're not a requirement of social distancing, but we're directly affected by all of this, the biggest one being Ubers. You guys, this is a huge, huge update for you. If you are going to be going to Vegas before July 31st, you may have a very, very hard time getting an Uber. We spoke to an Uber driver asking him why there were no Ubers driving on the Strip when the Strip was actually pretty up and swinging. There were people out. He said that a lot of the Ubers are choosing to stay not working to try to collect that additional $600 in unemployment, which does not stop until July 31st. We had one point waited for an Uber for a half hour. And two attempts before that, we weren't even able to get an Uber. Like it was just loading and loading and loading and nothing was happening. And so we had to just opt to take cabs. I'm gonna actually post a cabs versus Uber video because I got a lot of really good information from doing this, from having to take cabs instead of taking Uber because it's so ingrained to just hop in an Uber. But they were really hard to come by. So please plan ahead. Know that you might have to take cabs. Just be aware, maybe have a little extra cash on hand. We had a really hard time getting an Uber. This should probably stop after July if your trip is after July. Another thing we noticed, there were a lot of really strange lines happening. I mentioned these like six foot markers that they're placing on the floor, but another repercussion I think of trying to keep less tables or more spacing between tables and also maybe having a little less staff working is that we found ourselves waiting in lines a little more than we're used to in Vegas. I hardly remember waiting in line for a restaurant to be seated. Generally, you walk up and you're seated. It, it just happens that fast. It was nothing too inconvenient. It was simply just an extra thing we noticed. If you're kind of trying to avoid crowds, a line is sort of the last place you wanna be. So I think this might be counterproductive to what they're trying to do. And we just noticed a lot of strange lines, especially at the bars and lounges we went to in the evenings because the nightclubs are closed. All the people looking for nightlife are now flocking to these bars and lounges that are normally pretty relaxed after 10 o'clock because everyone goes to the nightclub around that time. Now people are eagerly waiting to get into these lounges and there are lines out the door of bars and lounges for people trying to go inside. Plan ahead if you're planning on going to bars. Maybe consider going a little early so you can get yourself a table because you aren't gonna be able to do standing room. They are gonna want to seat you, so you have to wait for a table. Also, make sure you're really, really actively checking what time things open. Things are opening at different hours. Some things aren't open just yet. Be very aware of what's open and what's closed. We actually met up with some people that didn't know what time the pool was open and they came much later. And because of that, they had a hard time finding pool chairs and it was a whole thing. So make sure you do your research. What time are your restaurants open for breakfast? Things like that to really make sure that your trip goes smoothly. We're so used to everything just being open really early and closing really late if at all in las vegas but right now as things are slowly starting to transition into being open that's one thing you're gonna notice so please be aware of that other new things we notice that are not related to uh social distancing or any protocols of the reopening am i crazy or has there always been a metal detector outside of fremont street there was a big metal detector with a sign that said you can't be under 21 no backpacks and there was a gentleman outside clicking like counting capacity am i just that buzzed when i go to fremont that i've never noticed this person here before maybe it has been there but i never noticed it and to be honest we went straight through with our camera equipment and our buzzer went off and the guy didn't even look at us and people were bringing their young children in anyway so i don't know why those gates are there and I don't know how long they've been there. Tell me in the comments if those have always been there. Maybe this is just something I didn't notice. 
Another big Fremont event happening is that Sintra will be opening. We did see a little bit of the outside and they're slated to actually open early in October. They've also just announced this is going to be Vegas's first and only adults only hotel. You have to be 21 years old to be in this hotel. So this is a whole new experience and I think kind of an interesting one for people who are looking for an adults only environment. It'll be really interesting to see how this affects crowds there and who all will be the clientele that comes to Sintra. I'm really excited to see it and to see what the inside looks like because it's supposed to be this old Vegas glam. So that'll be really fun and we'll keep you posted on that on the channel. And let's talk about what is the same in Vegas. If you're watching all this and you're like, oh, I don't know, this stuff makes it seem like maybe it won't be fun. Our trip was a lot of fun, you guys. We still had a lot of fun. It was still busy. On Thursday, the strip was so dead and we thought, oh man, no one's gonna be here. I don't know how fun this is gonna be. Towards that night, it was completely busy. Fremont had tons of people on it. And by Friday and Saturday, it was like a normal day in Vegas. Everybody was out. If anything, it seemed a little more crowded. And I think that that might have something to do with hotels redirecting people to the hotels that were open. Just like we had been redirected to the Bellagio, I think a lot of the guests had. And that's why it was very, very full when we were there. And unfortunately, that kind of, again, is counterproductive to what they were trying to do. But it did give the feeling that Vegas was back in full swing. People had their masks on, but it seemed like everybody in general was still trying to have a good time and it really didn't seem to bother most people. Almost everybody was just following the rules like they were supposed to and doing what they were supposed to. And honestly, if you were outside on the strip or outside by the pool, it felt normal. You guys, being at the pool and ordering drinks, it was totally normal. We didn't feel any of this weirdness that we've been feeling out in public the last few months of this year so if you're just craving a little bit of normalcy to just go and book a trip and lay by the pool and relax in your room you will feel like a normal vacation it will not feel at all like everything is crazy right now so that's one thing I wanted to point out and honestly it still felt like Vegas I think especially after having a couple drinks yeah I didn't even really notice it I I didn't feel weird I didn't feel uncomfortable nobody around us seemed to feel uncomfortable everybody was very friendly people were being courteous and asking if you wanted to share an elevator or if they should wait for the next uh, people were being respectful. Overall, I think everybody was just thrilled to have a good time. Our service was really wonderful and everybody was so happy to see us back. None of the temperature scans felt too intrusive. And overall, I think they were just trying to give everybody the best experience they can with the situation that they're in. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. Otherwise, you can follow me on Instagram and DM me there if you'd rather leave me a private message. I am happy to answer any questions. Somebody had a question on reserving pools. They thought they had to reserve a time slot for the regular pool at the hotel. That is not the case. All the hotel pools are open to guests as long as you have your room key. Day clubs are reopening and they are not having general entry. You have to have a reservation to go to the day clubs. So thank you for asking me about that. I'm always happy to answer any questions if I have an answer for you. If you guys enjoyed this video, thanks so much. If you could please give it a like, that really helps me. And again, if you want to subscribe, I would love to grow my channel. I'd love to reach 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Thank you so much in advance if you do. Thanks.